Imagine a volcano so colossal, so powerful, that its eruption could reshape the world as we know it. These are not just any volcanoes, they are the titans of the geological world, capable of altering the course of history in a single cataclysmic event. These aren't monsters of fiction, they're supervolcanoes, a terrifying force slumbering beneath our feet. Hidden from plain sight, they lie in wait, their immense power contained within the Earth's crust. Unlike traditional cone-shaped volcanoes, supervolcanoes are massive, sunken craters, often hidden within seemingly peaceful landscapes. These calderas can span tens of kilometers, making them difficult to recognize without scientific instruments. What sets supervolcanoes apart is their explosive potential. Their eruptions are not just powerful, they are earth-shattering, capable of releasing energy equivalent to thousands of nuclear bombs. While regular volcanoes erupt with lava and ash, supervolcanoes unleash thousands of cubic kilometers of molten rock and debris in a cataclysmic event. The sheer volume of material ejected can blanket entire regions in ash. Their eruptions are measured on the Volcanic Explosivity Index, a logarithmic scale where 8 represents the most powerful eruption imaginable. This scale helps scientists understand the magnitude of these rare but devastating events. These eruptions are incredibly rare, occurring only a few times every million years. Yet their impact is felt for centuries, leaving behind a legacy of destruction and transformation. But when they do erupt, the consequences are nothing short of catastrophic. The skies darken with ash, temperatures plummet, and ecosystems are thrown into chaos. The sheer power of a supervolcanic eruption can devastate entire continents and plunge the globe into a volcanic winter. This chilling aftermath can lead to widespread famine and a dramatic shift in the planet's climate, reminding us of nature's unparalleled power. The Earth bears the scars of past supervolcanic eruptions, each a chilling reminder of their destructive power. These eruptions have shaped the landscape, altered climates, and even influenced the course of human history. One such scar lies beneath Yellowstone National Park in the United States, a seemingly tranquil landscape hiding a supervolcano capable of unleashing unimaginable fury. The park's serene beauty belies the potential for catastrophic destruction that lies beneath. Around 630,000 years ago, Yellowstone erupted with the force thousands of times greater than Mount St. Helens in 1980. This colossal eruption created a caldera that spans over 30 miles, a testament to the sheer scale of the event. The eruption ejected over 1,000 cubic kilometers of ash and rock into the atmosphere, blanketing much of North America in a thick layer of debris. The ash cloud would have blocked sunlight, leading to a dramatic drop in temperatures and affecting life far beyond the immediate vicinity. Another infamous super eruption occurred on the Indonesian island of Krakatoa in 1883. This eruption was one of the most violent volcanic events in recorded history with effects felt around the globe. The eruption, though smaller in scale than Yellowstone's ancient fury, unleashed tsunamis that killed tens of thousands of people. The force of the explosion was so immense that it caused the island to collapse into the caldera, generating massive waves. The sound of the explosion was heard thousands of miles away and the ash cloud darkened the skies for months. This event had a profound impact on global weather patterns, leading to vivid sunsets and cooler temperatures worldwide. These historical events serve as stark warnings, reminding us of the immense power hidden beneath the Earth's surface. They highlight the need for vigilance and preparedness in the face of nature's most formidable forces. Imagine standing near a supervolcano as it awakens. The air is thick with tension and the ground beneath you feels alive, pulsating with an ominous energy. The ground trembles beneath your feet, a deep rumble echoing from the bowels of the earth. It's as if the planet itself is groaning in agony, warning of the impending chaos. Suddenly the earth splits open, spewing forth a torrent of molten rock, ash and gas in a scene of unimaginable violence. The sky turns a fiery orange as lava fountains reach for the heavens. The initial blast is just the beginning. The sheer force of the explosion sends shockwaves rippling through the air, shattering windows miles away. Superheated pyroclastic flows, a deadly mix of ash, gas and rock, race across the landscape at hundreds of kilometers per hour, incinerating everything in their path. These flows are unstoppable, obliterating anything that stands in their way. Meanwhile, colossal columns of ash and gas ascend miles into the atmosphere, blotting out the sun and plunging the region into darkness. 
Day turns to night as the ash cloud spreads, suffocating the landscape below. Within a radius of hundreds of kilometers, the devastation would be total. The once vibrant landscape is now a barren wasteland, a testament to the raw power of nature. Cities would be reduced to rubble, forests incinerated and rivers choked with ash. The infrastructure that once supported life is now nothing but twisted metal and charred remains. The air would be thick with toxic gases, making breathing impossible without protection. The very atmosphere becomes a hazard, filled with noxious fumes that could suffocate any unprotected life. The impact of a super eruption extends far beyond the immediate blast zone. As the ash cloud from the eruption ascends into the stratosphere, it begins to spread, carried by winds to encircle the globe. Within days, a thick veil of ash could blanket continents, plunging the world into perpetual twilight. This ash, a fine glassy powder, would wreak havoc on infrastructure, clogging engines, disrupting transportation, and contaminating water supply. But the most devastating consequence would be the impact on global climate. The ash and sulfur dioxide injected into the atmosphere would reflect sunlight back into space, causing a dramatic drop in global temperatures. This volcanic winter could last for years, disrupting agriculture, leading to widespread crop failures and triggering global famine. Scientists around the world are constantly monitoring known supervolcanoes, searching for clues about when the next eruption might occur. They use a variety of techniques, including seismic monitoring, gas analysis, and ground deformation measurements to track activity beneath the surface. While we can't predict eruptions with absolute certainty, these monitoring efforts provide valuable insights into the inner workings of these slumbering giants. By studying past eruptions and analyzing current activity, scientists can identify warning signs and estimate the potential magnitude of future events. However, the exact timing of a super eruption remains elusive. These events are incredibly rare and our understanding of the complex geological processes that drive them is still evolving. The devastating potential of supervolcanoes underscores the importance of continuous monitoring and robust disaster preparedness plans. By investing in research and early warning systems, we can buy ourselves precious time to prepare for the possibility of a super eruption. This preparation includes developing evacuation plans for communities located near supervolcanoes, establishing emergency food and water reserves, and educating the public about the potential risks and how to respond in the event of an eruption. While we can't prevent a super eruption, we can take steps to mitigate their impact and increase our chances of survival. By learning from the past and preparing for the future, we can face these slumbering giants with a greater understanding of their power and a commitment to safeguarding our planet. The immense power of a supervolcano eruption raises a daunting question. Can we prevent such a cataclysmic event? The short answer, unfortunately, is no. The forces at play deep within the Earth's mantle are far beyond our control and any attempt to directly manipulate a supervolcano's magma chamber would be both futile and reckless. Some scientists have proposed theoretical solutions, such as drilling into the magma chamber to release pressure or injecting cold water to cool the magma. However, these ideas are highly speculative and carry significant risks. Interfering with a supervolcano's delicate equilibrium could potentially trigger the very eruption we're trying to prevent. The aftermath of a super eruption would be a time of unimaginable hardship and global upheaval. But even in the face of such devastation, life has a remarkable ability to adapt and recover. History teaches us that even after the most catastrophic events, life finds a way. Following a super eruption, the planet would experience a period of intense environmental change. The volcanic winter would eventually subside, but ecosystems would be dramatically altered. New landscapes would emerge from the ashes and life would gradually return to the devastated areas. The recovery process would be long and arduous, requiring global cooperation and innovation. But just as life has rebounded from past mass extinctions, humanity has the resilience and ingenuity to rebuild and adapt to a changed world. 
Supervolcanoes stand as a stark reminder of the immense power that lies hidden beneath the Earth's surface. They are a force of nature that demands our respect, vigilance and preparedness. While we cannot prevent their eruptions, we can strive to understand them better, monitor their activity and develop strategies to mitigate their impact. By investing in scientific research, promoting global cooperation and educating the public about the potential risks, we can face the future with a greater understanding of the forces that shape our planet. The key to our survival lies not in attempting to control nature, but in learning to live in harmony with its awe-inspiring power.